Alright, here we go with some more featured series fun. Taking advantage of that triple gold. So I've compiled three matches from featured series from playing a bit today. And you know a lot of people make videos and they pretty much just edit out all the times they die and you only see when they're doing good. So I just chose three matches in a row and as you can see I die and of course I don't win every match but right now I'm running painted black with um, I think winning streak uh, strange medicine and an eye for an eye now this is not the, um, the most optimum build I just wanted to try it and see how successful I would be also this lobby doesn't really have anybody over level 400 so you could say it's a bit biased you see I, here I die again and of course yes I will use level 1 tonics to refill my deadeye because my primary card is painted black and that's very deadeye intensive so this match is most wanted so the the rules of this match if, if you're not a red dead player and you don't understand what's going on you need to get points by killing other players however your value as a player is dependent on how many kills you've gotten so the better you do the more points you're worth so killing high value players gets you more points than killing players who aren't doing very well and of course yes the video is sped up because you know to make the matches go by a little quicker so when you're playing Red Dead you usually try to go for headshots um, some people will have cards that protect them from headshots but it doesn't seem like there are many in this lobby when you're the most wanted player when you have the most points you don't see the other players on the radar until they're right next to you however the other players will always see the player who is most wanted. I got a kill here. He dove, but the advantage of using painted black is that if you aim and hit and tag someone before before they move, the bullet will usually track them on, uh, unless they're um, behind an object that gets in the way. Right, this is a difficult hill to climb, but as you can see, I figured out a way to do it pretty easily. So yes, this player was only worth two points because they haven't been really doing well in this match. Alright, and there's 18 seconds left. Let's see if I can get this kill. There we go. I use the um, dynamite to flush him out. So, we have a victory. I like these little um, scenes. This is the next match starting. The video was edited to remove all the loading screens and waiting out and so on. All right. Now this is a team event. So there's two other players. I don't know who, who they are. So I can't speak for their skill as individuals. But I always um, try to do my best in the match regardless of who who I'm playing with, whether they're annoying or not, etc. <laughs> and he got me there. Actually made me waste a tonic. Should have probably tried to shoot him before drinking that. Alright, let's see. Put him from behind. It's also important to switch weapons. Oh, and someone's using explosives. I guess they're probably frustrated and decided to switch to explosive ammo to get easy kills. But when someone does something like that, they usually have to leave the match right after. Alright, so he's turtling in here. I could have thrown a toxic moonshine, but I decided to um, take the risk and run up on him. Uh, this guy, he was really good in this showdown. Um, show me your guts. Killed me quite a few times. Mm, 
Uh, they got me. A good strategy with this with this type of match is actually sticking together with your team. That way you guys can protect each other. But since these guys are random and there was absolutely no communication, you know, I was just trying to do my best as a solo. And of course, I was killed with, ex what's it called? Explosive Express Ammo. There we go, we got the headshot. When you're using painted black, don't hesitate and wait for the paint, by the way. Just aim and start shooting. And he got me again. This guy this guy was really annoying me this match, by the way. I was really frustrated with him. Basically, every time I saw him, he would kill me. His aim was uncanny. And he's using a repeater, and those are generally faster than um, rifles. And I got some of his teammates and there he is again it's like you know and that might have been an explosive round too could be wrong ah, but i got him <laughs> that made me really happy there we go and i'm dead go that's a dead one I didn't kill him but and I got him again success alright and the match is almost over and it is too late to claim victory so you see we, I don't always win Alright, so now we have another round of Most Wanted. Let's see what happens. Alright, so I'm gonna follow this guy because he won't be able to see me on the map until I start shooting. There we go. Got this one. Now when you become Most Wanted, remember everybody's going to know exactly where you are on the map. So they're all pretty much going to come to you. So a good strategy would be to find yourself in a location that you can defend where there's not going to be anyone coming up behind you. That way everybody will pretty much be coming from the same direction. There's a sniper over there and I don't have a sniper rifle this round. So I'm pretty much just going to try to survive and somebody else is probably going to come to try so I can get some more points from them. Alright, there's a guy over here. I was hoping that would have been enough to kill him but you see I had to follow up with the, um, the sniper is still shooting at me and he gets me. Well, someone gets me. I'm not sure if it was a sniper. Probably not. So we're tied for the lead. And of course the sniper is just picking me off from the hill. But we're not too worried about that. He doesn't seem to be the point leader. Alright, so from here the sniper definitely can't see me. I can refill my um, s dead eye. Catch this guy lacking. Now, if I remember correctly, at this time in the match, this, this gentleman who, who I've just killed, you know, he started making some very unprofessional comments so to speak let's leave it at that and of course after I killed him I laughed and um... there it is <laughs> so um... yeah I was saying my mic is still on <laughs> He started saying really weird, you know, really weird stuff. Apparently I sound like a Pakistani. There he is again. Reloading. And there there it is. There's another kill. So of course I'm enjoying myself at this point because 
he's saying all the nasty things that he's saying but you can't seem to you know get a kill don't be afraid to use combat dives in these close encounters you hold L2 and press square if you're on console or well, PS4 and here I've gotten an invite to go to play in free room from someone so after this match that would have been it for my foray into featured series for that day oh, and I've finally been killed alright the match is over and we have victory satisfying victory thank you for watching like and subscribe if you enjoy these kinds of videos and have a good day